Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy, Shermaine, a.k.a. Terry McGinnis, coming at y'all with some Halo Combat Evolved from the MCC. Uh, sorry, I had my, my party app still snapped up there. Uh, I forgot to take it off. I forget that when the classic games like Halo 2 and Halo Combat Evolved, when they finish loading, like you, the game's already started, you know, or, and, and Halo 3 pretty much, whereas Anniversary and Halo 4, you know, you have the little countdown, so it's all good, like easing you in, like, okay, the game's officially starting now. But on if Combat Evolved 3 and uh, 2, as soon as the screen's black, you're already on the field, you know what I mean? But yeah, your boy Brian and I playing some Combat Evolved with God in metal form in this pistol, three headshot pistol, Shh, Jesus. Just this multiplayer, you know. I love Halo, love Halo Combat Evolved, but the multiplayer, brother, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. There's a lot of broken shit to this, but... This video is not about Halo Combat Evolved. I got plenty of videos about Halo Combat Evolved that I'll be uh, releasing soon. It's going to be about some Halo 5 news. Some pretty good news. And, that's, and that is, there's going to be dedicated servers across most of all game modes in Halo 5 Guardians. I'm going to read an article right now. Uh, so you can hear it straight from Josh Holmes' mouth. Halo 5 Guardians Online Multiplayer Mode exclusively, exclusively uses dedicated servers, even when playing custom games. That's great, first of all. This news comes by way of executive producer Josh Holmes, who responded to a question about dedicated servers on Beyond Entertainment forums. We only have dedicated servers for multiplayer in Halo 5 Guardians, Holmes wrote. That's true for matchmaking and customs. There is no P2P. What this means is that you'll never have to rely on problematic peer-to-peer -peer connections when playing multiplayer, even when it's simply a custom game you set up with your friends online. This has not been the case in the past, resulting in what's known as host advantage, which refers to the edge that a player serving as the connection host has in peer-to-peer -peer games. Most recently, Halo the Master Chief Collection used a combination of dedicated servers and peer-to-peer, -peer, with all custom games and online campaign missions using the latter. That's some pretty good news. That's some pretty good news. Dedicated servers in in all multiplayer modes in Halo 5 so there won't be no peer-to-peer -peer, and custom games before I get into the peer-to-peer -peer, I mean uh, the multiplayer the matchmaking having having dedicated servers in in custom games that's fucking awesome to me that's a big step up that's that's showing a little love to the Halo community like hey everyone loves to play some shoddy snipes everyone loves to play swords only with super fucking fast player movement and shit everyone loves that and now that you're going to make it normalized for everybody that no one's gonna have a connection even though you know to me honestly peer-to-peer -peer in custom games doesn't really it doesn't really matter to me that much I don't get irked by someone having a little bit of a host advantage when we're just playing for fun and dicking around but that's cool that they went they went the extra mile to include dedicated servers for custom games I applaud them for that that's awesome Dedicated servers only for matchmaking, that's great. That's a good step up. And if you want dedicated servers done right, call Respawn. Because they did dedicated servers done right. Like Lawler said, my boy Lawler, that had like the smoothest launch of all the 2014 games. All the dedicated servers worked, everyone had great connection, and everything seemed to work very smooth. Call them if you need any help. Here's the problem though. I don't care how great your dedicated servers are. I don't care how many dedicated servers you have. It remains to be seen if they actually function at launch. You could say you've got the most expensive dedicated servers on the face of the earth. You will have no lag. It'll feel like you're actually in game. Whatever, whatever, you know, details that you want to hit us with, that's great. But it doesn't make a shit if they don't work. Which is why I still have reservations about purchasing Halo 5 Guardians. Which is why I'm going to purchase it about a couple weeks afterwards. Because I don't want to purchase it day one and not be able to play the fucking multiplayer until months later. I don't trust them when it comes to that. And owners of the MCC probably can vouch for me. Because we couldn't play the game for so fucking long. So why am I going to spend my 60 bucks on a game that I won't be able to play? I'll be able to play one third of it, essentially. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy it on day one. That's great that there's dedicated servers across most of all all modes in Halo 5. That's awesome. Good job on you, um, 343. Good job on you. Still remains to be seen if they actually play out the way they're supposed to play out. If they actually function in matchmaking. 
So that's great news. That's great news. I'm happy. And the Halo community should be happy. No more peer to peer. No more peer to peer. You know, like they said, in the uh, MCC, we had both. It was hard to tell which one was better. But the fact that they're doing away with peer to peer essentially completely, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And I think if, uh, I was going to say respawn, I think if 343 is transparent with the community, letting everybody know snippets of information during development, it'll go a long way for them because people will be in the loop, people will know what to expect, and no one will feel alienated. I think it'll go a long way for them. I truly do. So, guys, let me know what you guys think. Guys, let me know what you guys think. Well, wasn't that fucking redundant? My brothers and sisters, let me know what you guys think about 343 announcing that there's going to be dedicated servers across all game modes except campaign we don't know about that yet no peer-to-peer -peer in halo 5 that's what i'm talking about still remains to be seen if they function that's one of the reasons why i'm still holding out on day one purchase of halo 5 guardians but that's going to do it for me you guys wanted to hit you with some quick news my name is Shermaine. i'm out peace have a good day